Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful cowl. Very easy for beginners in this video. Welcome to Lola Loops and Stitches. This is Jessica. If you're already subscribed and you're watching this, thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? And if you're very new to all this and you are in this channel because you want to learn how to crochet, subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button so you don't miss anything and you can go below in the description and you're going to find my website where you can sign up for newsletters and then you don't miss any of my design that I'm going to be showing you this design here is very very easy to do exactly is specifically for beginners okay so let's get started Okay guys, this is all the materials I'm using for this specific project. I'm using a pair of scissors, I'm using a stitch markers, I'm using a tape measurement, I'm using a crochet hook, nine point millimeters, it's plastic, it's very smooth by loops and threads. Um, I'm also using a Susan Bates crochet hook at 3.75, it could be less, it could be more, don't matter, as long as it's smaller than this one, because to weave the end, this is what I use instead of the tapestry. And last but not least, I'm using Charisma. Charisma is a beautiful um, yarn. It's acrylic, 100% acrylic. Um, it's very good to work with and it fits perfectly for cow in this case. Um, it, it has only 109 yar um, yards. Um, I'm going to be using two of this one. You actually can use one based on what I'm um, the met the 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 quantity of stitches I'm using in this specific project. You might be good using one, but if you want a little taller, you know, longer in terms of um, wider, let's um, then you can use two. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm going to use two because that's how I like it. Okay. Um, let me see what else is number five bulky as I said. It's recommending an eight millimeter crochet hook, but I'm using a nine millimeter crochet hook for this specific project. And let's get started. I'm going to start by making 57 chain stitches. You can add more if you want because this specific um, pattern doesn't have, doesn't require um, certain multiple numbers to complete the um, pattern stitch is pretty flexible so you can actually add more than 57. In my case 57 equals for me based on my tension um, equals for me 24 inches and that's what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for 24 inches of length for the circumference for the round and I'm looking for 13 inches in wide okay the width okay so i'm going to make 57 um and again like i said and i repeat you can add more if you want okay depending um also i'm going to make the chain stitches in the loose side the reason why i do it in the loose side is because sometimes like uh, when i was starting to um um, when I started crocheting and I started learning how to do a um, few projects and among those were a cowl, when I complete that one, I noticed that it was like a cone shape and I don't want a cone shape. I was like, oh, I don't like that cone like this coming down. Okay. So in order for me to not to fall into that, then I do it a little loose in the loose, on the loose side. Okay, so let's start doing 57 in my um, inch, um, chain stitches or whatever number you're looking for. Three, four, five, six, six, and 57. And I have all, I have my chain ready. I actually, let me take a measurement to see, right? Because I just want to make sure that I have 24 inches or close to. When you take measurement, you do it relax. You just, you don't stretch. So, because when we stretch, we alter. We don't want that. We want to in the, in the natural state. Okay, so if I do this, is put it this way. 
yeah it's around 24 exactly if you look here it says 24 Six. now um the next step we are going to do we are going to join these two ends okay together but you make sure that you don't twist and when we mean don't twist what i mean that is if you see you have uh two sides you have one side that is the pretty side i call it the pretty side is a series of V's, and then if you turn this you see bumps here very easy to see give me a second i do this if you look at it you have bumps here in between you see so you want to make sure that these bumps are facing inward and the and this one upward okay and they are in the same direction so the what i do is i touch here put the bumps below me and the this one on top and i pull here to make sure that they are all together in the same position okay and then i meet the two ends right and again i do this sometimes i little <laughs> ocd i just want to make sure you see and that means that it's not twisted let me tell you in a cowl the two first round are the the more headache because you want to make sure that you don't twist your work once you pass this one and the other one the other round you're okay now so we are going to insert our hook in the first stitch to do a slip stitch the way we do that is i'm going to insert my hook you see this here that you have a bump here i insert my hook um, in between the bump and the um, loop below the, the strand below between those two okay I have again I check again that there's no twist okay and then putting this to the side I yarn over I pull a loop right I'm going to draw this yarn through the this loop very easy so now you have your two join your two ends join so everything is official let's start now um when i'm going to work out on the round because we are working on the round i'm going to hide this tail but first let's do this first you're going to chain two that's it chain two okay and you're going to add a clip these are the not clip i'm sorry a uh, stitch mark this I bought it on Amazon. I love it. I never saw this packet like this. I always got the little bags and then I ended up losing them. But this one, I love it. It's below in the description. You can check anything I'm using here. You can go ahead and check it out. Uh, I'm going to use this one. Pesky fresh, the cream one. Okay, so I'm going to use this one, this stitch, and I'm going to add it here in this first chain. Okay, so that way I know this is the end the end and the start okay this is the join area now um once i'm done with this i'm going to make a half double crochet all across okay all right so i'm going to hide this one by pushing it like this okay we are going to work on the bumps like i said the same way i, I explained about the slip stitch you're going to insert your hook in between the bump and the strand below here that loop okay and that's when you're going to do your work we're going to do half double crochet in that next stitch because this stitch here this turning point is counting as a stitch so this one counts as a half double crochet all right when counting so in this stitch i'm going to make a half double crochet stitch and i'm going to close the half double crochet stitch like this you got it right and then here you got this one the next one insert your hook between the bump and the strand below and here we go you got it and you can pull this string here the tail um you're going to see and notice that sometimes when you're doing this stitch this one here like stretch and you can easily get confused and then make two stitches in one in one stitch make sure that doesn't happen just make sure that you know already that you did it here you you can pinch this stitch because that way you know 
this is the next one okay your hook okay put the other this is the next one and again yarn over insert my hook okay And that's how you keep going around until you hide this tail, tail and then you keep going and moving all the way to almost the end, all the way around. And you can meet me almost the end, okay? Almost the end because I need to explain you something in this area, okay? So i see you there. What you can do with this little tail here that is um, hanging, you can just go ahead and cut it. Make sure you don't cut the actual stitch, so be careful with that. You cut it and it's already hidden there. You don't see it, right? And we continue. Okay, so now we've reached these last two stitches you see here. Okay, everything looks starting to look fine and take shape, taking shape. So I'm going to make a half double crochet stitch here in this stitch. And then in the next one. Okay. Okay. So now we have everything ready, okay? Making sure that everything is not, um, the, the round is not twisted so we can continue with our work going up. Okay, so let me take this here a little bit with uh, carefully. Now I have my chain, everything here. If you see, everything is, wait. <laughs> Just want to make sure that I have this. Yes, here. Wait. Yeah. Just take your time, like I'm doing now. You see? So now that it's not twisted, I know that I can join these two happy. Okay? Without no problem. So the way I'm going to join these two is that you see you have two stitches here. Two. Okay? So you're going to chain two. You're going to um, insert your hook in the very first stitch of that turning point here and then you're going to do a slip knot a slip stitch <laughs> sorry and over pull up a loop draw the, the yarn through that stitch and you join okay that's how we join you're going to make two chain okay this is the turning point and it counts for um as a as the stitch that we're going to work now. Okay, I, we're going to be, I'm um, turn because even though it's round, you're not gonna continue like this. You need to stop, do a turning point and continue to the other side. So every time you do a turning point, you turn like you do normally with other works that are not round, okay? So I turn and what I do is now I transfer this stitch marker here to this one okay so then i don't get confused so what i'm going to do now we are going to work with front post and back post double crochet stitches okay when it's front post you're going to insert your hook in the front when it's back post you're going to insert your hook from the back to the front Front will be from front to back. Back will be from back to front. When it says post, it's because we are not going to work in the stitch per se, in that V stitch. We're working around the stitch, it's around the post in these columns. So this is where we are going to work. We are going to start by making one, the first one in the first stitch, 
going around in this part here, okay, you're going to insert your hook right here, and then you're going to treble that um, crochet hook to the other side, and you leave that post in the middle, yarn over, pull the yarn all the way through, and then you continue with your stitch. Now, we are going to do double crochet from post. Yarn over, insert your hook from front to back. In the very first one, you see this turning point in the very first one, you're going to start, travel that hook around, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook and you complete your double crochet stitch. And the here you have your first from post double crochet stitch. Now in the next one, we're gonna do back post. So, so I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook from back to front in the next one, travel that crochet hook to the other side, I have the back post, the post there, yarn over, pull out, up a loop through there, yarn over and complete your double crochet stitch. Okay, so if you see you have front and back, that's how it works. Now front again, let's do it again. We are going to continue with this one. And you know you work that um, stitch when you see this. You see this line, this is yellow. So it's, you see, it's very easy because we're working with colors. But when you're not working with colors, it could, it could be confusing. And, or the stitches are in a weight that is smaller than this one, the yarn. So it's, that's why it's so good to, it's good to learn how to do this one when you have bulk eye um, yarn like this one or chunky yarn. Okay, so we have this one and then we're going to the front, yarn over front to the other side, yarn over again, pull, you have here and you complete your double crochet stitch. Again, yarn over back to front. Okay, you got it. Okay, yarn over front to back and to the other side, okay, yarn over, back to front, and always looking the sick, um, looking behind, so it's because sometimes by mistake, if I get distracted, I make two of this um, right next to it, but in the pattern, the pattern meant to have one on the front and one on the back. What you're going to do, you're going to all the way around, guys. And you can meet me at almost end, okay? Let's continue. looking very good if you see and you don't see that shape hopefully I don't get the shape at the end because it happened too <laughs> so hopefully it's not gonna happen for this video okay so we have more um one more here here this is um, the stitch that belongs to this turning point. So we are not gonna do nothing here, actually. So we are going to work on this one. It's gonna be the front, okay. And you have your stitches for the first row. Make sure that everything is um, in sequence. And it's nice, it's no repetitive stitches. Okay, so we are going to now join this beauty, <laughs> this second round with this round, okay? So I'm going to take the clip. And this is a two chain stitch and you're going to do the same thing you did at the beginning. In the first one, you're going to insert your hook here in the very first stitch from the two chain, straight, um, chain stitch, like this. and. And I do a slip stitch, okay? 
Now what I do is I chain two again. I chain two. I turn, as I said before. I take this one because this one is green. I think I'm gonna take a, an orange one. <laughs> I like the color though. Okay. So um, I have this, I turn, and I'm going to be working now in these stitches. This first turning point do not count. The turning point count as any, as the um, as another stitch. We are going to work half double crochet stitch all around. The good thing about this part is that it's already, the foundation is already done, and you don't need to worry about twisting your job because you already did it. You will work on that, so we are cool on that. So now let's start with our half double crochet in the second chain from um, stitch from the hook. This is the hook, the, the turning point. This is the turning point. This is the next stitch. And I'm going to make my half double crochet and I'm going to continue all across. Okay. Okay, so we have these two last stitches that we are making here, double crochet stitch, and the very last one here. Now I'm going to make a slip knot in the turning point, the second chain from the two chains um, turning point. Okay, slip, slip stitch. Let me see, I said slip knot, I'm so sorry. Slip stitch. <laughs> Do it that way. Now I'm going to chain two and turn. Okay. I'm going to transfer this stitch marker here and the and the front, of course, because that way I know. All right. And I'm going to start with. Remember, we did um back um the first. The first was the foundation, then we did a round of half double crochet stitches, then we did a, um, another round of back loops and front loops double crochet stitches. That round we started with, um, I started with front um, post um, double crochet, then I did back post double crochet, and I kept, and I kept going like that, like the sequence right then we did half double crochet and now we're doing another round of back and front post double crochet stitch this time we are not going to start with the front one we are going to start with the back one we are going to yarn over and here in the turning point is when we are going to start yarn over and then you're going to insert your hook on the back travel that crochet hook in the, on the other side of the post Pull out a loop across this side here. Yeah, you have three loops on your hook and then you complete your double crochet stitch. You have the first one, the first back loop. And again, we're going to yarn over. Now we're going to work in the front in this next stitch, if you see. Okay. And then we are going to yarn over and do the back part. Okay. The front. And that's how you are going to continue. Okay. Back front, back front. Um, then half double crochet. This is the way you're going to continue. You're going to, this is the um, first you're going to do front loop, front post double crochet. You're going to start with that. Then after the half double crochet round, then you're going to continue with the next round of back post and front post. Uh, uh, the only difference is that one round you start with a front post and the other one you start with a back post. That's the difference. You alternate, okay? Um, we are going to continue until I have to join more of the yarn. So let's keep going, okay? And any, um, and I'm going to 
come back when it's time to add another um, yarn to to show you how I add another yarn in the in a work okay in a existing project so let's continue okay guys so I'm almost done here I'm going to be adding the other skein okay finish here and then I'm going to join the two chains then you have another one that connect that's the one you're going to use to join your work your row I already done with it what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take measurement now this one here I believe is six inches from here to here because I already did um, took measurement but let's check okay let me take measurement here if you see it's six inches okay six inches but I want it a little wider than that I actually said 13 inches but I think I'm going to do less than that I perhaps do 11 inches or 12 okay so it's a little bit more which I'm gonna need to add more yarn however if you wanted to leave it like this it's okay too I prefer a little bit more wider than than this one because it looks better but everybody has their own preferences and you can do that too okay feel free now let's add this other to join um, yarn I do it easy I do it different in different situations okay so I do it differently um, some of them I join from here all depend the work in this case I'm just gonna join with a knot I'm just gonna make a knot here knot and I'm just going to secure it here that's all I'm going to do and then at the end I can just go ahead and hide this one or cut I don't cut here because it can get it can get loose and you don't want that to happen okay um, to secure more you can do one knot and I you can do another one and it's going to hide trust me it's pretty secure there okay and then you continue very simple that's in this case again in other cases I join way differently okay now we are going to chain two as I said before and you're going to turn and you're going to use a clip put it here and you are that's it oh you continue all the way to the top in this case we did the, I did this one the back and front um, post um, double crochet stitches um, now I'm going to do half double crochet stitches okay now if you continue you can continue all the way up to the as wide as you want your work just make sure that ends always that the end is with half double crochet stitches that's all you're going to start with half double crochet stitches and you're going to end with half double crochet stitches and that's how you are going to continue okay and we are going to make here half double crochet stitches all the way across okay up all the way to the end that's how simple it is you see okay so let's continue and I meet you at the end leading my towel now I'm going to insert my hook in this first stitch so I can do the slip stitch and I'm done this is how it's done guys all you do is this cut and secure I do it twice like this so I give a good knot there okay and then I hide this and you can weave the end uh, remember I show you another crochet hook that it was smaller than the than the one I'm using the I, I show you one three point something but I said you can use any one that is smaller doesn't matter um, I can find the one that I said before so I'm using this one and all you need to do with this is just to pass your your yarn all over So 
so this is how it's done i'm so happy with this it looks beautiful if you notice some observations i have um, and i want to point out um, if you see it doesn't look cone shape and remember i started the very beginning the foundation chain in the loose side because i didn't want this to be like this if you go tense with tension as you go up you tend to lose your tension and then it's gonna look like a cone shape unless you keep your tension um, across all your work okay so that's different now also when you insert your hook between the bump and the and the loop below you see that it gives this beautiful effect okay so i hope you enjoy this just as a reminder go ahead and subscribe and um, don't forget to subscribe hit that bell button so you don't miss anything and also don't forget to go to lolaloopsandstitches.com um, you can read whatever little story i put there a little bit about me not much and then um very very bottom you can go ahead and add your email because i'm working on new content and i want to include you there and i don't want you to miss any of them okay um also you can find all the materials um i'm having in this and i'm using this video below i put the link and it says where to find those these materials very easy okay see you next time Hey, check out my other videos where I'm showing necessary skills needed to grow faster in the crochet world. You can find Lola Loops and Stitches on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.